guys welcome to part two of my room tour this is Kat I'm sorry for the lighting change I am recording at night now I did some things while I was um, taking a break from recording so we left off we finished this big behemoth and now we're gonna move on to this one which is the IKEA unit which has kind of like the cubbies I think it's called the Calyx unit um, so we're gonna go ahead and do this one this one is actually two so it's just like the four squares and they're kind of stacked on top of each other. And on top of here, that little shelf up there I got from Goodwill as well. And I painted it. And I have a bunch of my Disney Funko Pops. No, those are not all the ones I have. I have more than that. Um, they're in my closet. But I have all the Disney ones displayed up there. And then I have a few different things that friends have created for me. So like that crown back there, that one. Solange made for me from Handmade by Soso. -So. That pinata was made by April. And then that little popcorn cart was made by Rebecca. Um, and then what do we have here? Oh, that one was made by Susan, the little uh, TN booklet right there. And then my friend Vero, who is Daisy Lou Designs on YouTube and on Instagram, made that cute one right there. So yeah, oh, and this crown was made by Luann. So I put a lot of like handmade goodies. I kind of switched them up so that I can display them here and there that I've received. And I have my Tokidoki collection here. Again, no surprise there, more toys. And then a couple stuffed animals. So that's what's on the top. And we'll go ahead and move into the sections of this unit. So we'll start here. On here on the side, I have my cutting board. So I have a small one, which I tend to take the props. So this one, and there's washi tape on there. So there's Fiskars. I have the larger one as well. Although I did break it accidentally, so I need to replace it, but it still works. And then I have my scoring board here. And I have two more photo boxes. Let me take those out. So in this one, this one contains all my flowers and I am so happy and proud of my flower collection. Most of these came from AliExpress. So you see my rainbow of flowers here. These are all paper flowers. This one has a little bit of miscellane miscellaneous in there. Then here, I recently received these. These ones I got from TJ Maxx. There's a little pep, uh, paper cacti. Then I have some succulents in here that I got from Hobby Lobby. All different sizes and kinds. Then I have some um, fillery, like the little beads ones. Here is some more random flowers. Some foam ones from the 99 cent store. Another um, random flowers that are sent to me in Happy Mail. And then this is some Prima flowers and then just some styrofoam balls. So that's what's in this photo box, which is one of my favorites. And then in this rainbow one, which I love the color. I love the translucent ones because it's easier to see what's in there, but I love the aestheticness of this one. It's just so pretty with the rainbow but it's hard to see in some of these. So um, I need to start labeling these so that I know exactly what's in here. But I just basically have, again, by item. So like handmade embellishments in there, um, glass bottles. Um, here are some just bows. And then we have some summer. I think these ones are gonna be summer. So yeah, summer, summer tags, summer stickers. Um, these are little die cuts or chipboard pieces. Summer as well. Then this is all birthday. Enamel dots. Um, some resin roses or flowers and some wood veneers. Some more flatback gems. I need. I have a, quite a collection. I need to start using them. And here are just some brads. And this one has um, more unicorn stuff. So that's what's in those photo boxes. Okay, 
So moving on, in this one I have more um, packaging items. So mostly like the crinkle paper and confetti. So that's what's in this box. And this one here, I have, um, I'll just give you a sneak peek because this is a haul. So this one's gonna rem um, mostly, most of the time be empty. It's the stuff that I need to record, either a project or a haul. So that's stuff that I need to show you guys in a different video. And here I have um, some sleeves, like album sleeves that I use for fusing, some, um, was it chipboard here? And then these are all my baggies and I'll take them out so you can see. Move my little unicorn here. This I use to display when I take pictures to prop things up. So yes, so in here I just have a bunch of bags and they're pretty much organized. So I have a bunch of different goodie bags in here and then some extra paper roses that did not fit in my photo um, photo box. So that's that. That unicorn is actually an on-the-go charger from TJ Maxx. And then in here I have my sewing machine. And there I have my electronic die cutting machine. That's an e-bosser which is really nice. And then in this one, I have a lot of um, like embellishment boxes, like the containers. These ones I just showed on my Instagram. I found these at the 99 cent store and I cut off all the little um, barrette pieces. And then those are all my cabochon, cabochon pieces. So resin pieces in here. And I recently, my, um, my brother gave this to me for Christmas, the little container. So I have them in here and I'm actually expecting a lot more to come in from Allie because like I'm gonna have a um, kawaii meetup at my house for Valentine's towards the end of February. So I have a bunch of cute things. Here's a bunch of other little goodies. Now let me show you the last section in here. So that's the final section. These are clay pieces that I had made. It's been a while since I've worked with clay. Mm, how cute. And that's that. In there you will see that there's a couple embellishment boxes that I kept with goodies. Most of them are empty. So I was, um, I did quite a few embellishment box swaps and I went crazy and I had a bunch, a bunch. And I finally looked through them and sorted everything out and just kept a few with items inside. And in my final square here, this one's really heavy. Um, in here I just have a lot of uh, vintage stuff. So when I was doing um, pen pal letters, I love the vintage style. So that's what what's in here. It's just a bunch of like um, ephemera, like vintage ephemera that I don't really want to pull it all out. It is organized, I, I look through it all. Um, but yeah, so that's what's inside that. So that is this entire unit. Sorry if I'm a little shaky. Again, I have you on a selfie stick. I'm trying not to shake you too much. On the side of that unit, I have these cute little clouds. These I got from Target as well, I wanna say two years ago. And I have some of my favorite washi. So I have like space theme unicorn right there and then Disney and um, Totoro, Hello Kitty, kind of has a little bit, like cartoony, I guess. And then I have my little girls here, got them from Target, and the other one is uh, from Kohl's. And these cute little bells were made by my friend Vittel from Daisy Lou Designs. And my friend Letty made that one right there, that little deer, reindeer. And now we're here on my desk. And there are some things on here. I have happy mail from my friend April that I need to um, unbox with you guys. Some hot cocoa that I need to finish. My um, computer, I don't really use this one too much. It's older, it's about 10 years, so I'm looking to replace it. You can see me, I'm wearing my phantasmic sweater. And 
yeah, that's pretty much what's on my desk. Not too much in there. Has some containers when I'm making embellishments and stuff. This is just things I need to put away. So now we'll just go ahead and look underneath my desk and check out what I have here. So this um, basket right here has a bunch of like items that I can alter. So let me pull this out. Okay, so this basket here has just items that I can alter. So it has another one of these, like had, I had my sequins in. I have my uh, mat when things get messy. I have embroidery hoops. I have canvases, um, larger pieces that I can alter and paint. That's basically what's in here. In this larger one, I have just a bunch of um, more Halloween stuff. I wasn't kidding when I said I had more Halloween. So that's um, all in there is just basically all Halloween decor as well. So I have that tucked away in there. And then over here, I have some projects that I'm working on. So these are some birthday Rolodex um, cards that I'm working on. I have my December daily that I need to finish. And that basket has items for my December daily. I'll pull this out so we can see in here. Okay, so this large container I got from Michaels as well. It comes with a little like tray that you saw in one of my drawers with my art journals. Um, but I actually just use this to put all my, um, basically mostly all my paper pads. So I have my 12 by 12s and the smaller six by six and the six by eights here. So this is how I store my paper pads. In the future, when I get a craft room, I'll probably change this up so I can see them more. I'm a big fan of seeing your items because I believe it allows you to, um, to use your products more. But this is how I currently have my paper pads stored. Next to my paper pads, I have more of my uh, paper collection, my paper stash. So here is basically just solid, some gold, and some larger glitter pieces. That's basically how I have them here displayed, so I know what I have. This unit I also got from Michaels. Gotta move this out of the way so I can open it. So here is just kind of loose pages of like 12 by 12 or collections in here like these. So that's how I have that. There's no real organization here, so I might, um, I am actually gonna organize this next. So at least there's kind of like a system going on here, but that's basically what's in here. Here on the side is just some happy mail, some pen pal letters, things that I need to either send out or respond to. So I kind of just have them here on the side. I don't put these away because I know it's a reminder every time I see it that I need to do that. And then moving on, we're almost done guys. Moving on over here, I have my wrapping paper collection. It's all stored in this basket from Target. So that's how I store my wrapping paper. Um, and then I showed you this unit. This one is from Michaels. I recently got the top for it, which is really awesome because I put just projects that I'm currently working on here on the top. So these are for a meetup that I'm gonna be hosting, a Kauai meetup at the end of February. So there are more goodies. And then in here is basically just like tools and then adhesive. So all these are just adhesive. I have my foam adhesive in this Therese Collin one. I have my double-sided tape in here. My liquid glue. This comes out. This one is recent, a recent purchase from Target Dollar Spot. And it's a little basket with just basically my hot glue guns and my hot glue. And the hot glue gun that I use, that's my favorite, is this one from Joann's. It's a multi-temp and it does not drip glue like crazy. So I really, really like that one a lot. Down here, I have my acrylic paints in this drawer. This little container also from Michaels. It's a mess. It is an acrylic container, so it's gonna get messy. I'm a messy artist. I have my larger tools in here, like my envelope punch board, my Crocodile 2, and then just some boards. Oh, and then some um, brads in there. I took the lid off of here so you can see that I just have more tools. These are my less used tools in here. So like a, a, a paper puncher, three hole punch, another board, scissors, and some like um, Fiskars decorative scissors. But that's basically what's in there. Above that, I have my little pin collection. <laughs> Not so little. It's my pin collection from Disney. 
So yeah, I have a bunch in there. I have some artist ones as well. And I got the board, I believe, from like a drift store and I painted it gold and added glitter. So I really like how that's displayed. Above my desk, I have this pom-pom that I made in one of my episodes for Catoween, 100 Days of Catoween, and it had ghosts on it. I just cut the little ghosts off and stored them and then kept the pom-poms up there because I like the colors. And then I have these shelves. Those up there, my friend April from April Lander Designs made. That was part of her box, but I really liked it and I kept it. She made me that unicorn, which was really sweet. And then I have a few of my dolls, the very first ones that I made up there, and then my Disney hat. Finally, here I have this little organization unit that Mr. Woofy got for me maybe two Christmases ago. And this isn't usually in here, it's usually in our kitchen, but I brought it in so I could show you. And it's really cool because I just organized this and it has all my trim. So it is also one of my favorite drawers. So all my beautiful trim here love them then anything like sequins or beady is in here then um like the faux leathers are in here all my lace that my friend luann was so kind to gift to me then i have um some tool in here and some more lace Here is some twine, some Velcro pieces, pom-poms. This is kind of like a miscellaneous store of like smaller pieces that I'd like to use. And then I have all my cat ears and like a little um, unicorn cat pouch in there. And the last two are just like memory boxes. So ephemera from places we've gone to. But that is it. There you have it, guys. That is my entire room. I've gone and shown you all my toys and my decor pieces, gone through every drawer and how I organize my items and just my stash. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite part was. I would be happy to hear and I'd love to respond to your comments. So let me know down below. And then also, how do you organize your items? Do you have your own craft room? Do you have a crafty space? This is actually the largest I've ever had it, ever. Um, I've usually had maybe a desk or a couple boxes. This has been like, accumulating for maybe a year and a half and then like I said I am a savvy shopper I like to be a drifty shopper so I try to spend as minimal as I can so I'm super excited with how everything is looking and then my goal again this year is to be able to get a second bedroom for a craft room and that's just going to open up more um, space for organization and to display my items a little better. So thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next video. Hope you have a fantastic day. Bye!